You know, users are really funny people. Not only do they want to give us their data, but they expect to get it back at some point. Well, that's actually pretty easy to do with PowerShell. Now, you might think that all you have to do is set location to the table that you want, and then do a get child item. But in fact, when we run this, what we actually see is a listing of the objects that are part of the database object. Instead, we're going to query the database using the same old commands you're used to, a select statement. Here, in my DB command variable, I'm going to place a select statement that's going to get a single record from our database. I'm then going to clear the screen, and I'm going to invoke SQL command using the same set of parameters I've been using. And when I do, you can see I get back my single record. Down here I have the name of the column, my ID, number 112, my organizer, Adam, my location, Austin, Texas, the event date, and the number of attendees. Well, that's great for displaying to the screen, but maybe we want to work with this in a variable. So let's put the output in a variable, and it's just as simple as saying my variable equals invoke dash SQL command and the rest of the parameters. So when I run this, I have now got that row stored in the my output variable. If I want to see it, I simply type in my output, and there's the same thing I saw a moment ago. I can pump it through format table, and there's my output formatted, and there's my record formatted in a nice table. I can also get individual elements from this record using dot notation. So here you can see I have an organizer column, so I'm going to say my output dot organizer, and it will return the name of Adam. Now, if I want to see what type of variable this is, I can call get type, and it shows me that it's a data row. Well, that doesn't give me a lot of context, but here's a nifty little trick you can do. You can take my output, pump it through get member. Not only will it tell you everything about it, but up here at the top, you can see the type name is actually system.data.dataRow. So now you can actually go do searches, being whatever, and find out more information about this particular object and how to use it. Just as often as you want one record back out of the database, you want multiple records back out of the database. So let's look at an example of this. First, let me set the location to our current database. And then I'm going to create a command that will actually load multiple rows. And this is just a standard insert statement with multiple values. And that created the variable for me. And now I'm going to invoke it using the same command I've been using this whole lesson. There we go. And now I'm going to create my select query, and I'm going to have it bring the results back and order it by event date. So there's the query. I'm going to clear the screen. And then I'm going to take the output of my SQL command and put it in the my output variable. There we go. And now all I have to do to display it is use my output. And I'm going to pump it through format table to make it look nice. And sure enough, here's all of our records. When we get to working with records, the first one is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we actually have 7 items. But we don't actually have to sit and count these. Our output has a count property. And sure enough, there's our 7. If I want to get one piece of information, I can get that piece of information using its position, my output, bracket 3. Then I can use the dot notation to get that column. Orange City, Florida, and sure enough, if I come back up here, 0, 1, 2, 3, Brian, is in Orange City, Florida. Well, what do you know? I can also come here and I can iterate over the collection using a for each. There's our various organizers. This time, I want you to note that my output is now an array. But what's it an array of? Well, if we pump the first element of the array through get member, you're going to see 
that it is a system.data.data row. So before, when I only got one row back, it automatically made that a system.data.data row data type. When we get multiple rows back, it puts them into an array, and the array is composed of two or more system.data.data .data row types.